friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. This week I had a lot of fun. I went to two stores I haven't been to in a long time. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and I have five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you calories and macros. Highly recommend and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump in to this exciting grocery haul. So this week I had a pretty exciting grocery trip. I went to Tucson and went to both Sam's Club and Trader Joe's. So I have lots of new food finds some really good things that were new to Sam's Club. I've really kind of grown to like Sam's Club. So I'm going to show you first what I picked up at Sam's Club, then we'll move to Trader Joe's. First are these dog treats. Now I have bought these treats for my dogs several times from Grove Collaborative, and you get a little teeny tiny bag for five or six dollars. These are the Bananas for Bacon Soft Baked Dog Treats from Shameless Pets. These have excellent ingredients. I mean, human grade ingredients. And this huge bag was $15 at Sam's Club. It is for skin and coat support. Just a really good high quality treat. I had never seen these there before, so of course I had to pick them up. I also grabbed the Members Mark Honey Almond Granola. This is Sam's Club brand. Members Mark is like great value for Walmart. It's their house brand. This was $6 and it has fiber, whole grains and six grams of protein and it's not even a protein granola. So I thought for the price, I always put a tablespoon or two on top of my yogurt. So I went ahead and picked that up. I got these for Troy. These are the Creative Snack Co. These are the Stars and Stripes yogurt flavored pretzels. You guys know he loves his yogurt dip pretzels. These were on sale for $3.50. And I think it's because they're clearing them out from 4th of July, but they look really good. They have the yogurt coating and the sprinkles. My favorite lunch meat ever comes from Sam's Club, the members mark. This is really the reason I wanted to go there. They did not have my peppered turkey, so I grabbed the oven roasted turkey. For some reason, this lunch meat has more protein than others, so I am all about the protein, so I picked that up. Troy wanted a ham. This is perfect because it's already sliced up for him. This is the hickory smoked ham. It was $8.58, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I did grab a big bag of lemons for my water, $3.50, which is cheaper than Sprout. Some organic raspberries. These, I believe, were $5.50, which is also way, way less expensive than the grocery store. And then $9.99 for this big flat of cherries. I love cherries, so I'm pretty excited about those. You know that I buy the eight-in-one dog hip joint supplements from Costco. One of you guys reached out to me and said that you used to order them on Costco.com and they're no longer on their website. So I was nervous that next time I go to Costco, they won't have them. So they actually had the Vet IQ hip and joint shoes. These are 180 for about $19, which is actually cheaper than the ones at Costco because I think they're 250 for $30. So I went ahead and picked them up. They have the same beneficial properties for your dog's hip, joint, glucosamine, everything that your dogs need for support. Troy asked for peanut butter and wanted a bigger container of peanut butter. So the big two pack of Jif. This was really cool. I don't know if this is brand new from Coolgate, but this is the Dream Tube technology. This is their new toothpaste. So there's actually a polishes teeth, which is fresh mint and charcoal, replenishes enamel, which is cool mint and tea tree, revitalizes breath, fresh mint and citrus, and freshens mouth, fresh mint and wintergreen. So don't those sound really good? And supposedly this packaging, you can get every last drop out. I wanna say it was maybe $15, which is not a bad price for four tubes of toothpaste. I also decided to pick up the Tresemme Extreme Extra Hold Hairspray. This is a huge can of hairspray, and this two pack was $7, which is a great deal. I honestly don't use a lot of hairspray. I put just a couple of squirts in my hair every day. So this will last me a hot minute, but it was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up. Also new to my Sam's Club is this variety six pack of Quest chips. I was super excited when I saw this, $11. That's an incredible deal for six bags of Quest chips. You have three ranch, 
three nacho cheese. I actually ate these after I left Sam's Club and that was two hours ago and I'm still full. I love, love, love these because they have 16 grams of protein and that's a killer deal at Sam's Club. I also restocked our tuna fish because we have used all of it. If you struggle to get in your protein, tuna is a fantastic way to get in lots and lots of protein for very little calories. Some Unstoppables, they don't actually have this scent at Costco and it was on sale at Sam's Club. This is the Lush scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, so I grabbed that. I also picked up a big 24 pack of the Boulder Canyon chips for Troy. These have great, great ingredients. These are actually sold at stores like Whole Foods and Sprouts, and they're pricey. And this entire 24 pack was $11 at Sam's Club. I mean, you cannot beat that, so I picked that up for him. It does have the olive oil sea salt, the classic sea salt, the hickory barbecue, and the sea salt and black pepper. Another case of baked beans, as weird as my husband is. Tell me if your husband does this or maybe you do this. He takes a can of these. These are the smaller cans, like the traditional size, puts it in the fridge and eats it cold. So weird to me. He does it for meals and snacks. So he's went through all the ones I bought. So we're back with another eight pack. And another item I used to buy all the time at Walmart for a dollar, dollar fifty a piece, or the Clio bars. So these are at Sam's Club. You actually get 12 bars, six strawberries, six vanilla. Those are my two favorite flavors. 140 calories, nine grams of protein, an amazing, amazing dessert. So of course I had to pick that up $11. So less than a dollar per bar. So that is everything that I picked up from Sam's Club. Let's jump into Trader Joe's. So I had fun at Trader Joe's. They had some new things I was pretty excited about. I actually had never seen the multi-grain pita crackers. They did have the regular pita crackers. I've purchased those before. They're really, really good, but I've never seen the multi-grain. So I picked those up. I thought this would be great with hummus. I did just buy some organic cedars, red pepper hummus at Sprouts. So I wanted some crackers for that. I've also never seen this. This was over by the pasta and the rice. This is mushroom and herb risotto. We love risotto. It is so good and I thought this would be a really easy side dish. I was almost out of soy sauce and I thought that I would pick up their coconut aminos. They're really, really good. Much better ingredients. If you can't have soy, you can have coconut aminos. And these ones are organic and it was about $2.50. I almost bought this seasoning last time and didn't and I had a little bit of regret so I picked it up this time. This is the Trader Joe's Green Goddess. It has zero calories, zero points. I thought it would be really, really good on vegetables. I also picked up some light cream cheese. I'm not going to any regular grocery store store this week. I did all my shopping at these two stores, so I needed cream cheese for a recipe. I also needed a can of black beans for a dinner recipe, and they are really, really affordable at Trader Joe's. Also, since I didn't go to Sprouts, I did grab the Just Chicken. This is white meat, shredded up, ready to go chicken. This is a huge, huge staple for me. I have it as snacks. I have it as quick meals. It's a really, really good way to get in protein. 120 calories and 22 grams of protein in three ounces. So, you can't beat it and it's pre-cooked, ready to go, healthy white meat chicken. Speaking of chicken, I have heard so many good things about the Trader Joe's chicken salad. I had to pick this up. I'm really excited to try it. I actually think I'm gonna have it with some of these pita crackers for lunch today. I picked up a gallon of 1% milk for Troy. And then these were new. So this is part of their whole summer line that's out. I almost got the Meyer lemon biscotti, but I told myself, no, I don't need any more sweet treats. So I did grab these strawberry and, strawberry and jalapeno crisps crisps. Oh my goodness, are these good, but they are spicy. I had a couple on my way home. Whew, they definitely have a kick to them. These would be so good with any dip. I mean, cream cheese, dip. So I'm excited to have them, but they are spicy. They have a kick. I also grabbed some yogurt. I've never bought the Trader Joe's Greek non-fat yogurt. My mom loves it. And when I saw them, and I'm just about out of the yogurts I bought at Costco, I grabbed three. So I have the vanilla bean, mango, which sounds absolutely amazing. And then I also grabbed strawberry. Another thing I buy from Sprouts, but I wanted to try the Trader Joe's. These are their organic organic brown rice cake thins. These you can actually have six rice cakes for 110 calories. I'm like, wow, that's really good. I mean, they're thin, but again, perfect size for some American dream nut butter. And I mean, I would imagine one cake is maybe one point, even potentially zero points. So I picked those up. The frozen hash browns, Troy loves these. I also make avocado toast on these. I've shared that recipe on my channel. It is one of the best ways to make avocado toast. I just throw it in the 
toaster for four or five little sessions and they come out nice and crispy. And I always grab the seasonal candle. This smells incredible. This is peach and black tea. These are only $3.99. And this one smells seriously so summery, so good. I thought I would try this. I usually, as you know, try to pick up some type of sweet treat for Troy and even for myself. And I saw this vegan banana bread with walnuts and it looks so good, like so moist and so good. I think it was $4.99, so I picked that up. And then no Trader Joe's trip is complete without Trader Joe's cheese. So I have the light shredded mozzarella and the light shredded three cheese blend. This is my favorite light shredded cheese. I also grabbed two cans of sliced sliced black olives. They are really the most affordable price. Some grated Parmesan cheese. Troy loves to put this on vegetables and pasta and we were completely out. I was also completely out of cocoa powder. I used the rest of it when I made the chocolate protein muffins and meal prep and I really, really like the Trader Joe's brand. Of course, some dog treats. I always buy some treats when I go there. These are the Trader Joe's Chew Couterie assorted flavored dog treats. And then I get these too. These are really good. They're the better than leftover. So they're inspired by dinner leftovers. My dogs actually like both of these and the price is really good. I did grab a small thing of almond milk. You guys know I mainly use Fairlife because of the added protein, but sometimes I just want a splash of almond milk. And this was $1.99, unsweetened, organic, 40 calories for an entire cup. So the traditional one point. Some frozen raw shrimp. I need shrimp for my meal prep. I haven't had shrimp in so long that I'm really excited about this week's meal prep. And then last but not least, I did pick up a bag of frozen broccoli just so that we had a quick, easy vegetable on hand. So that is everything that I grabbed from both Trader Joe's and Sam's Club. It was so fun to shop at different stores this week. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on the menu for the week. So today, Saturday is out for dinner. Tomorrow I'm making honey barbecue chicken taquitos. This is actually a slow cooker recipe, so stay tuned for that in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is going to be spaghetti. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday, we'll probably grill up some burgers. It sounds really good. Thursday, I'll be making sheet pan quesadillas. And then Friday, we'll eat up all of our leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. We have another really delicious protein packed meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm doing chocolate protein chia pudding. I'm actually really excited for this. And for lunch, we're gonna do a blackened shrimp meal prep. And for dessert, I'm making protein packed peanut butter cookies. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up at Sam's Club, Trader Joe's. It was so nice to shop at different stores and find some really new exciting food finds and really, really good deals. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. It's a little different video, but it's a super fun video.